Greetings, everybody. It's Jim. I'm just taking a break this morning from working on Columbia Games' uh, Hardbacks of Harn Kickstarter, because that's what I do. We do a lot of Kickstarters. And basically, uh, what the Hardbacks of Harn is, Harn World is Columbia Games' fantasy setting. It's medieval fantasy setting. And it's their detail to the medieval that has them with decades-long fans. So they're just champing at the bit to hit that pledge button on this. They're going to be doing nine... Uh, nine kingdoms in all so it's a lot really exciting um so but anyway today what i'm going to be doing is unboxing with you this version of ronald panzers and it is a cherry mint condition version i thought i didn't know that at first i had this uh stalin's tanks on top, on top of this first and i didn't even think about it uh, another game from fine games by the way um nice little company uh but it's, this is the exact same condition as trailblazer it's just uh Totally not scrunched at all. I am thrilled about this that I got this in this condition. Definitely going to crack it open. But uh, something I did notice, though. Let's take a note of this. Take a look at this. On the back, on the bottom here, there is a little, seemingly, a smudge on the bottom. Okay, I didn't think anything of it. It was just on the cellophane. Until I seen it also on Stalin's tanks. The interesting part is, it's right where it talks about the what is included in the box, right? And it has just enough room... For the word die and i think that's what it is um these games were originally thought to have a die in it or it was just a mistake by the person making the cover uh either or they decided the best thing to do was to take a little sharpie and just kind of make a smudge there so anyway that's what they did um but uh one other thing uh when you if you see my stalin's tanks video uh, I did actually take the corner rounder that I had from Oregon Laminations. Again, you can see that video about that little cutter there. But that tool, that was the that was the counter that I was worried about, that I would be cutting too close. It didn't even get near it. It's just so fine. That two millimeter one is just so fine. It retains so much of the original counter. I know some people like to go deeper, but this is one of the reasons why I did not go. I just wanted to clip it to get rid of frayed edges. I did not want to uh, risk, and it's just better for nostalgia purposes to keep as much of the original counter on as possible. Uh, I did try to get, uh, for the regular nubs there on the side, I did try to do the nail clipper thing. I might have to do a Zacto knife, take a little work, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not, this is just a little micro game. There's not a lot of fog of war. I don't think there's fog of war in it. I don't think so. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you that, that, that another, I'm very happy with that clipper. Uh, but anyway, Today, I'm going to be unboxing with you a cherry mint version of Rommel's Panzers. Okay, everybody, and as always, no pressure, just got to get this right on the first take, right? Because I'm totally unboxing this in front of you. I just can't, you know, I can't put everything back in the box or anything like that. Uh, I can't take retake this cellophane off or anything. Uh, so here we go. I'm having a doozy of a time already. <laughs> Let's see here. Here we go. Here we go. It's getting it done. There we go. Cherry no more. There we go. All done. All right. So as we do before, the little trick, just kind of open up like this and not from the middle. There we go. There we go. And... Uh, I, I really don't think I have to describe what this game's about, considering it's uh, Rommel. Uh, basically, everybody knows it's World War II, and it's going to be about Benghazi and, uh, you know, just going over um, the uh, Africa campaign a little bit. So we saved the map for last, as always. Let's take a look at the rules. Oh, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Look at that. Ah. Nah. I'll smash up. Well, I got lucky enough. You know, would I rather have had a smash box or a smash rule book? You know, to me, I think I'd rather have the smash box. Uh, I want the rules because part of me was is actually wondering, as far as these boxes go, I mean, I got a number of them here, but I mean, I got so many of the other games like Warp War and all that that were in the sleeves that I would just transfer these and make them everything a sleeve. Then I wouldn't even have to, I mean, the footprint would be so low at that point. Because, I mean, the box, I mean, I don't know. It's just something that goes through my mind. But, man, that is annoying. Yeah, you get something minty fresh like that, and then that happens. Then again, my my Starship Troopers, if you remember that one, my counters are actually a little pink for the for the bugs, not red. 
So, you know, it's 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 give or take. So, anyway, they talk about the uh, game here a little bit. I wonder what changes they go through here. Is it really just the same system? Or is it, uh, you know, that's what I'm wondering. And it looks like they didn't talk about, uh, I didn't see anything about Faisley in this one. Talk about that in Rommel's Tanks. Oh, there is facing. There it is. Talking about changing facing and all that. I'm just wondering if it's really the same system. I'm sure it's the same guy that wrote it, Roger Damon. Yeah, I think so. Um, so basically, you know, that's uh, pretty interesting. I would imagine it's the same game, just with uh, different units, really. And here are the units. There we are. Uh, pretty uh, basic, you know, two tone. In you know, two tone done. Here's some more. So it's about the same amount of tanks as you had the last time. And uh, there it is. There it is. This was from Rommel's Tanks. Remember that? I forgot what, what, what it was, but I got one of these. Uh, this is this exact thing. And that looked like an Imperial Lander to me from Star Wars. So, I mean, somebody's going to have... That's probably a gun of some type. Um, I don't know. I, I You're going to have to fill in in the comments if you know what that is. This counter right here. Um, it looks like an Imperial Lander. It's just hilarious. I was thinking this was some kind of science fiction thing because, of course, this came out in 1980, I believe. Uh, let's see if what it got, because if it came out in 1980, uh, that would be that would be right at the time of Star Wars coming out, you know, and that was a big influence to everybody. There was no doubt. Um, but it doesn't even say where is it? Where's their copyright on this? Trademark applied for uh, anything? Do they have one here? They don't have a copyright either. That's weird. I don't see a copyright anywhere. There is not a copyright on this thing. But it's a trademark applied for, so I guess that's good enough. Anyway, let's look, take a look at the map. So it really just comes down to, I believe, my first instinct is to say it's all going to come down to the units. It has nothing to do in the map. It's going to have nothing to do with the game rules necessarily. I might be wrong because it looks like they probably got some roads uh, here that the other one didn't. Hey, and they went back to the old parchment feel. So I got one. I got a map here with the old parchmenty feel, and that's a nice looking map. Uh, you know, for as simplistic as it is. Um, you know, and the funny thing is though, they're gonna print these things anyway, right? I was, I'm, I'm kind of wondering about why they would not try to make it a little bit prettier in a way. I mean, it's not like you're paying for square inch of, uh, you know, you're printing it, you're printing it. You know, if you're going to print that color, you could have the whole thing that color, and it doesn't matter. So it's like they really went for the minimalist on the on the board, and, they, and I, I didn't even think about that. There's something about the minimalist uh, idea that, you know, makes you con concentrate on the game, I suppose. But I guess, uh, and that is true. I mean, if you're going to have counters like this, you really can't have the map board too pretty, I suppose. I don't know. Because then it would overshadow. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to figure out the strategy here. And they got the uh, scatter diagram over here. Uh, so basically, but that's uh, Rommel's Panzers. I got a little bit of a smash there on my rules. But overall, um, definitely looking forward to playing both games and checking them out and seeing what the differences are. And I'll see you guys next video.